First impressions really do matter, especially when we're talking about your website. So you need to make it look as pro as possible if you're creating it yourself. Let's have a look at eight ways you can make your website look more professional even though you aren't a designer. Hi, I'm Allie. I help emerging entrepreneurs get their businesses up and running online with a standout brand and website. Here's the thing though, when you're just starting out, it doesn't make sense to invest in a really expensive website just yet, leaving you tasked with creating it for yourself. And if your dream client lands on your site but is immediately turned off by your complicated design, or let's say they have no idea what you do or how you can help them, they'll simply click away in search of an easier path. The good news is there are a few things you can do to help make your website appear more professional. Be sure to stay till tip number eight because it's the most important thing you can do when it comes to creating a pro looking site. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you should do is one, the foundational work. Before creating any visuals for your business, you have to know and fully understand your dream client. And I don't just mean their physical characteristics, but I'm talking about their external problem, but also their internal deep-seated problem that they're having. Do you know what keeps them up at night, for example? If you want your website to stand out and be memorable, you've got to uncover the root of your dream client's problem first so that you know how to connect with them through your visuals and your copy. Two, make it mobile friendly. Having a website layout that responds to the size of the screen someone's viewing it on is no longer an option. It's mandatory. Well over half of all website traffic today comes from mobile devices and tablets. So you've got to prioritize how your website looks on smaller screens. Also, Google indexes mobile websites first, meaning that if your website isn't mobile friendly, it will fall behind all of the websites that are responsive in the search engine results. Three, use a custom domain and email address. You want to appear as professional as possible when giving out your website URL and your email address. The best way to do this is to use one that you've purchased for your own use. For example, you want to use businessname.com rather than ally.wixsite.com slash businessname or businessname dot squarespace.com. When it comes to your email address, rather than businessname at gmail.com, you want to use ally at businessname.com. The good news is this isn't an expensive thing to do. You can usually find a domain name for less than $15 a year. And currently you can get G Suite by Google for $6 a month, which allows you to use your own domain as well as get some Google Drive storage space. Four, add a favicon. You have the opportunity to push your brand just a little bit further on your website by adding a custom favicon. You've seen these before. They're the small icon or logo that appears in the corner of your internet's browser tabs. And if you don't change this on your own, most likely your host, your theme, or your content management systems logo will appear there, which doesn't look professional. Keep in mind that these are really small squares though. So in order to keep it legible, only use the icon from your logo or perhaps an initial of your business name. Five, use clear, high quality images. Nothing screams, I'm a DIY website, like one that uses low quality images that are pixelated or blurry. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you have to run out and hire a photographer, especially if it's not in the budget. But the thing is, there are so many great free stock photo websites where you can find all subject matters and themes to match your website and brand. So no excuses, use high quality, clear images. Six, pay attention to a alignment and spacing. As humans, we are drawn to things that are balanced and distracted by things that aren't. So go through your website and have a look at the space above and below the content in each row of your website and make sure that they are balanced evenly throughout. These areas are called margins or padding and most likely you have access to edit them in the settings of any page builder that you may be using. Another thing to pay attention to is the white space on the page. And white space isn't always white, it can be a color as well, but what it is is the negative space. And the negative space allows you to add breathing room around the elements on the page. Without that, your user can become completely overwhelmed with too much information and without being directed at what they can look at. By strategically adding white space or negative space around specific elements, 
you can direct the user at what you want them to see. Seven, don't complicate it. A common thing that DIYers do is overdo it. So remember, less equals more. The more clean and direct your site can be, the better. If your viewer has to burn too many brain cells trying to figure out what you do, how you can help them, and how they can work with you, then they won't. So remove anything that complicates getting your message across as quickly and clearly as possible. For instance, maybe too many ads or a complicated background that's getting in the way. The final thing you can do to make your website appear more professional, and the most important, is eight. Be consistent. The elements on your website need to be used consistently throughout the pages. For example, your page titles should have the same font choice, color, size, and style. The tone and style of your images should match throughout the site. And your calls to actions and testimonials should match also as you go through the pages of your site. Inconsistency causes confusion and will make you appear untrustworthy, and you don't want that. So show up with consistency. Consistency equals trust, and people buy from those they trust. Now that you know how to make your website appear more professional, you may be thinking it's time to spruce up your branding. Click the video that's on your screen right now where I go over seven ways you can make your DIY brand appear more professional. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. See you next time.